what's going on guys, Hash here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. As well as if you want to buy a pair of the Zoom Freak 1s. And this uh, shoe is one that I actually didn't really have too much interest in originally. It looked pretty much like a generic Nike basketball shoe. It didn't have anything too crazy or special other than this really large backwards facing Nike swoosh, which is obviously a thing right now with Travis Scott and everything else. But, but it kind of looked cool how it went into the midsole of the shoe and uh, also kind of like the heel counter. And then there's obviously more about this shoe because this is a signature model, and that's the dude's name. I'm gonna be 100%. I do not know how to pronounce that properly without butchering it. Um, but Giannis is his first name, so let's go with GA. But that's what you see on the logo of the tongue. You see a GA, and then he's number 34. On the box, you can see his signature right here, and then his name written loud and proud on the side of the box. So I think it's cool that Nike gave him a signature shoe, However, I don't uh, know why they decided to call it the Zoom Freak instead of his name. Obviously, the LeBron, you have the LeBron series, the Kyrie series, and the KD series. They're all named after the player, but in this case, it's kind of weird because they call it the Freak. That's neither here nor there. Maybe there's a reason I, I have not been paying attention to basketball other than the big news of all the crazy trades. But this is a Zoom Freak 1, and there's parts of the shoe that reminds me of the Kyrie 1. You can see there's a little bit of extra lockdown right here. In the front of the shoe, like you could see right here, for the additional support and lockdown of the front section of the shoe. Uh, also, the overall materials, this is like more of a knit mesh, and this is like a thicker version of this, but it looks fairly similar. You also do have a padded tongue that's also somewhat similar to the Kyrie. Also, the same liner in the little back section here is almost similar. Midsole material feels pretty similar as well, but in this shoe, you do get a double stack of Zoom Air on the back, and which is something we see more and more of. Uh, the Zoom Air definitely is something that compresses really well and has a lot of responsiveness, which is really nice. Overall, I think that the shoe looks fairly generic, but they have some future colorways that just look amazing to me. But this is the one that I saw from the Nike employee store, so I decided to buy them. Also, one thing I really liked about the shoe is just the overall design element on the bottom of the shoe. I love how they have some clear sections and then some rubberized uh, sections in the middle of the shoe. With a lot of personal meaning to the shoes, it says, I am my father's legacy. and like this is the All Brothers family like version shoe. It has names all over the shoe. And then in the front, it does say Freak One. But it does have some interesting hyperfuse overlay here on the big toe, also a little bit around here, and reinforcements along these eyelets here. The tongue is detached only down to here, and then it's attached from here down. There's a Nike swoosh embroidered right here on the bottom, embroidered logo, and then also embroidered number on the back. No other Nike swoosh on this side of the shoe. Obviously, they don't really need it because it's massive. On the inside of the shoe, they do have a Nike swoosh, and they didn't do the same swoosh right here. It actually looks like the part of a swoosh comes up, and then it just kind of fades into the midsole. It would have actually been kind of cool if they extended the swoosh down here and done something like that or over here and made it like pronounced again, but maybe they didn't want to overdo it. If you're looking to wear these casually, they actually do fit a little bit snug. I went with a size 10. Typically, I'm a 9.5 and the size 10 fit me a lot better for casual wear. But it's a comfortable shoe if you put these on casually. I think a lot of people think it's blasphemy when you try a pair of performance basketball shoes on casually because they're like, well, that's not the intended purpose. You know, the Jordan 1 in 1985 was for performance and the Jordan 4 in 1989 was for performance and so on and so on. So in my mind, it's okay to be able to use a shoe that is meant for on court to be able to have a little bit of versatility and wear them casual as well. Um, if you can do both, I think that actually makes for a more impactful shoe uh, for that individual player. So I think they did a good job on this one because it is a good price point at $120, but it's also really eye-catching in this wave of basketball shoes that's all about tech and everything else. This one actually has a visual on it that actually draws you to the shoe with that giant Nike swoosh. And this shoe right here definitely reminds me of the crazy branding that they did back in the day on these shoes right here, the Air More Tempo. As you can see, it says Air across the entire shoe. I love these shoes when they came out, and this color was an absolute must cop for me when they retro these. And it's just a really, really cool looking shoe. Say it loud and proud, you like Nike Air, and this is the shoe that's going to do it. This is definitely a shoe that screams Nike more so than any other signature sneaker that we've seen in a long time. And I think it's a really smart branding opportunity from Nike. It's funny because we have shoes that shy away from the branding all the time where they don't even want to have any logos on the shoe at all. Like the Yeezy line is one where you really can't see Adidas three stripes anywhere on the shoes hardly. But then you have something like this where the Nike swoosh is very prominent and it's the selling point of the shoe to be quite honest. And it's not a bad 
selling point if you ask me as well. So it's something that I really actually like and I think that they could do some really cool things with this. This is a paint speckled Nike swoosh right here, but I could do a hydrographic print right here and like put anything I want in this section. Like how cool would that be? I mean, you could really make it galaxy inspired or just anything that you can really think of, you could put in this section and same as Nike. It would be also really cool uh, if Nike had some Nike ID options where you could do some paint splatter and a bunch of different things. But maybe that's something that will be coming down the line. Uh, any which way, I think that this is a really refreshing model just because of the sheer shock value of that Nike swoosh showing up as large as it is on the shoe. And while we're talking about loud Nike swooshes on shoes, you can't forget about this shoe right here, the Rocket colorway of the Kyries. This one is super fresh in my opinion. Uh, this Nike swoosh is just massive and it definitely kind of reminds you of this right here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that as well since I had them in the backdrop over there. This shoe has some promise though in my opinion, $120. I'm imagining this one performs well. I mean, it, honestly, in this day and age, you get any shoe that has good rubber traction, fit and like a, a breathable upper and you're gonna be good to go on the court. But leave a comment in the comment section. Is this a shoe that you guys are looking forward to seeing more colorways of? And if so, like what would you guys actually do? I'm curious. I mean, I can't wait for them to come to Nike ID, hopefully, and then I'll just make something fun there. And I actually would make something with the intent to hydro dip it later uh, and add my own graphic over top of it, but theme the rest of it to like sort of match that theme, if you will. But uh, but yeah, nice work, Nike. And I think that you guys have a, a nice looking design. That is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, uh, you can hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos go live. And thank you again for watching. More videos on the channel very soon. Peace, guys.